Yeah. So we have finished the high tunnel and I wanted to show it to you guys. We've got our compost down. We're doing the no dig method. So we've got all of our cardboard laid down and then we have really good compost as our soil layer in the high tunnel. And so I wanna give you guys a quick tour of what it looks like completed. Now we don't really have anything in here. The only thing we have growing in here right now is we did transplant our peas in here. Um, we have other starts in the greenhouse and we have other seedlings that are also inside of the house um, as well. They're just not big enough and strong enough yet to come out here. So it's just a clean slate ready for all of our seedlings to go in here very soon. But I wanted to give you guys a quick tour of what it looks like now that the high tunnel 
uh, is done. High tunnel, hoop house, whatever you want to call it. But I'll tell you guys, after building greenhouses several times, and I have a video on how we built our cute little greenhouse, and I'll link that right here. Um, but after building greenhouses, I can tell you that the high tunnel build with the cattle panels has been so much cheaper, and it was way easier. I mean, it took Joe and I, what do you say, Joe, like two days? Yeah. I think it was like two days to put up this hoop house. So um, versus, you know, I think three weeks to build the greenhouse. So, But we're working with wood with the greenhouse staining and all of that. So this high tunnel has been an awesome project and it's gonna really give us a lot more space to grow and it's gonna protect the plants from the elements, which I really love. So let me give you guys a little tour. So here it is on the outside. And as you guys saw, all we did was gather the plastic around towards the door frame. And then Joe put together this simple door. We have screen here, also a screen window in the back. That way we have good ventilation this summer. I'm gonna sneak in here because it just started raining. So this is it, you guys. Look at this awesome high tunnel. I am so excited. We packed it down with compost. There's probably mm, maybe three, four, five inches of compost in here. We used some of our extra cattle panels to uh, put down the center for our peas. But the plan is to have a walkway right down the center and then we're gonna be able to just plant a bunch of veggies all along the sides of this high tunnel. It's nice and tall. As you can tell, I mean, I'm like, <laughs> the ceiling, I can't even touch the ceiling actually. So it's really big in here, it's awesome. So we started these seedlings inside in our bedroom. We only have one good window in the house that gets like tons of sunlight and that's in our bedroom. So we have this big shelf in the bedroom next to the window with all of our seedlings. There's just a ton of space in this high tunnel. So it'll protect all of our veggies from the worms, caterpillars, the chickens, all those things that like to eat our plants. So this will be really nice in the winter season. Um, the greenhouse is great, but this is a smaller greenhouse than the one that we built before. So we don't have a lot of room in the greenhouse. So having this high tunnel to extend our growing season is going to be awesome. So I'm really excited about this. I will come back on and do another video and give you guys an update once we get all the plants in here to show you how it's going. If you've been thinking about making a greenhouse for your backyard, I would really, really encourage you to try this hoop house idea with cattle panels. It's cheap, it was easy, and it's nice and sturdy. So it's something great, doesn't take up a lot of space. This one is 20 by 10. Um, so you could easily fit this in your backyard, depending on how big your yard is. But I hope you guys like this video, and if you found it helpful, give me a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. All right, you guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next video.